Hey, what's up? This is Ren Zero. And this is Chick. And together we are. You found another place to eat. Yes, it's called Big Beast. Unlimited shrimp, rice, and crab. Oh my god. Oh, I can't do my mouth is water in my mouth. <laughs> Any food would make your mouth water. It never stops with you. <laughs> Well, it stops if it's on. Where are we going? We're going to your mom's, to Felix's, yeah. to get uh, food for selling or something? What yeah. Well, yeah, you the pork. The, the one that we had. Lechon or is it? No, oh. no, 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 the pork with, okay. with hot dog, with egg, with ground pork. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're going to go over there, and every time I end up with Felix, you know what happens. Uh, well, I don't even know what's going to happen tonight. He will die and he will but, uh, resurrect tomorrow. <laughs> I do. I do want to make something quite clear. Uh, Andy, over at uh, Jandy's Bar, we decided we're not going to go there no more. Uh, he wants to discredit me. He wants to lie. And uh, he did lie. He told me uh, exactly what I quoted on, uh, not JLB's uh, channel, but it was on uh, Jeffrey, Smith. Jeffrey Swift's uh, channel. Um, that was a quote. He did say that, drunk or not, he did tell me that. And uh, now all of a sudden he's retracting and now going onto my channel and making it quite clear he retracted it. So, you know what? I don't like this honesty. If it comes clean, hey, we're cool. If it doesn't come clean, I don't need to be there, man. All right, all right guys, sorry for the lighting again. Um, a lot going on, we're on the street, so it's getting closer to New Year's. Um, I usually don't do rants, but this is this is a rant time. Right now I'm being uh, surrounded by all the street kids and whatnot, <laughs> like I told you. Oh, They're okay, waiting for I'm us as we walked up. Yeah, uh, here comes the others. <laughs> okay. Now, basically, I don't have friends that are expats. And it's funny because you would think that an expat would, you know, get along well with another expat. That's generally not the case when you're out here in the Philippines. Uh, we we run into characters that we try to be friends with and whatnot. And next thing you know, they either become strange on us or rip us off or there's a game out of it. There's, or they... See, cause I didn't really want to get into this subject because we've already scrapped this this subject. Watch out, stay over there. We scrapped this because Christopher Lane already did already did a vlog on this. Uh, Scott Ingram did a, uh, also a, a vlog on this. So I didn't want to beat a dead horse. But what they both said is correct. They kind of walk like when you when you meet an ex back, they kind of just nod their heads and not even give you that. They don't even give you that kind of regard. They just kind of walk past you. Uh, we're, we're not together when it's out here in the Philippines. We seem to be on our own. I try to wave, I try to smile, but again, it, they just seem to walk, you know, they walk the other way. You're a nothing. Now, check out this guy. You smiling for the camera? Ah! <laughs> U.S. Veterans, DAV, VA, get involved, please. Veterans in Cebu, Philippines are being operated on, procedures are done on them, authorized by the VA Manila Regional Office to operate on for conditions that don't need operations. I was told I needed a total hip replacement surgery at Cebu Doctors University Hospital, which is part of the syndicate of VA Manila. Uh, and I had a second opinion and I did not have any broken bones at all in my hip although they told me I had all kinds of broken bones in my hip at several several doctors University Hospital uh, please DAV Mark Seiberg from Indiana call me text me you're the chairman of the DAV in Indiana call me text me whatever you have to do get involved Get some people over here. Shut down the Manila VA. Shut down Cebu Doctors Hospital. Thank you. Yes, that's a real guy. He broke into our vlog and he's 
started talking about conspiracy. That's another thing. There's some expats that think that the Philippines are out to kill them. Why they're still here, I don't know why. But everything's a conspiracy theory. Um, here I am. I'm at Jandy's bar. You know, Andy was cool with me. You know, he told me some things. You know, and I asked him, you know, is it okay if I put it up on the vlog? Did I not? Yes. You were there, and wasn't he going off about Barry? And what was his head? He was just all like, no, 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 stay away from Barry. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he's cool with Barry. You know, and I'm not going to get too much into it because I already know, you know, the, uh, I know the truth. I put it out there. Andy retracted every single thing. I even said it in the last vlog. Andy retracted. So that's up on him. You know, but we're not going to return. Like I said, we're not returning to the bar. Uh, we'll, we'll find another bar and whatnot, do more reviews, you know, on different bars and whatnot. But again, an expat. An expat got himself a nice bar. Everything's cool over there. And, you know, he starts talking to me. We're, we're, we're pounding shots. Next thing you know, I'm the liar. You know what, Andy? Reason why we don't talk to expats. That's it. It's just the way it is out here. I don't know why. I trust the Philippine people, even street kids that surround me right now, more than I trust the expat. Oh, look at you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, come on. You already know where I'm going, right? Let's go. Let's go, guys. All right, we're here at uh, Felix's house. And, we have uh, Red Horse. We're about to pound some Red Horse. Um, now, I want to go back to the x pack thing that not, not all x packs are bad. I'm telling you from my experience. Um, you know, the, the x pack that I seem to run into or meet or hang out with just seems it all goes bad. I don't know why. Um, the people that I associate myself with is the Filipino people and whatnot, and I, I find them more friendly, more, you know, upbeat and, and whatnot, and I just, to me, it just, I run into an expat, I get excited because we can throw out, you know, conversations and whatnot, and in the end, we're just not friends after it. It just happens that way. Again, my experience. Maybe you guys had better experiences with expat. I don't, I just haven't, I haven't had one yet. Um, and it's funny because the closest that I've gotten so far is probably Barry because we actually sat down and we had a great conversation. We, we went back and forth. Rob. I gave him my view. Yeah, we also got Rob, um, which I don't hear from Rob anymore. But, you know, Barry will ask me if I'm all right, you know, what not, what am I doing and da 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 he, he, he chats me on Skype and whatnot. But like Frank, you know. You know, we, we had conversations, good dialogue, and then next thing you know, we're at each other's throats and we just don't get along. Um, so, I, like I said, it's my experience. And, you know, I'm not downing all the expats and whatnot. I'm I really not because I, I haven't gone out and met, you know, all of them or a majority of them or anything. This is just my experience. So, I just want to, I want to clarify that before everyone goes, hey, yay, yay, pointing the fit. No, I'm not. I'm not downing them. I'm just saying my experience. I just, I just, man, I, I, I can't seem to, can't seem to have a common ground or, or you know, uh, a decent dialogue or without hearing the conspiracy theory or <laughs> oh, what's happening with you and oh, I, uh, you know, and and wanting to know exactly what am I doing. You know to make money and how they're going to get rich fast schemes and i mean it's all it's the, it's always the same story and I, I so i just kind of i just kind of avoid the whole situation and all you know um you know i'm pretty happy with pretty what i do happy. sorry for the rat rat guys as peter would say rat rat time um this is the last rant huh yeah hopefully it's the last rant I'm not, you know, I'm not into that. I just, I wanted to speak my mind right quick because uh, Jeffrey Lee Brown, he, JLB, he, he, he's, he's trying to defend me out there. And, um, hey man, I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I know what Andy said. I have witnesses that were there. I didn't lie. He needs to come clean. He really does. 
All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and close out this vlog, but I, I want to thank uh, JLB. Thank you for getting me worked up. Thank you for uh, supporting me through all of this. And what was it? What was his statement? He said, he, he called out Andy, and he goes, you trying to make uh, Ren and Sentai oh, yeah. 7 liars? You know, thank you. Thank you for staying in there, man. And, uh, and staying on him. And then when I saw his comment, that's what I commented to you. And I said, now, you know, I'm disappointed. And it went from disappointment to a uh, straight rant rant and just angry. And still, I'm controlling myself. But, yeah, I was angry about it. Show them Felix. Hey, my friend. <laughs> There's Felix, guys. Uh, but anyway, remember, smash that like button. Leave a comment below and subscribe. This is Ren. And this is Six. And together we are. <laughs> Unscripted. <laughs> you taste this. This is Lunatic's business. Well, what is it? A Chinese. What is, that? What is this one? Bitcoin. You don't even know what it's called. You want me to eat it? Uh, Masi, there's peanut inside. This is Chinese. It's like for good luck for New Year. You taste. Yeah, good luck. Malakit. Good luck. 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 Good Good luck. Good Made of rice, coconut, and peanut. Oh man. You like That's it? Good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good luck. You young. You eat oi. This one, you cut, and then you can. You show your circumcising. Circumcising? <laughs> <laughs> you like you like eggplant? We ate I don't know after the circumcision, I don't know. <laughs>